Well, I think the family program is important because I have yet to meet a person who intuitively knows how to handle this. I don't think that this is something that you just naturally have in your wheelhouse. I think that addiction is a unique situation. It's a unique crisis. Families don't know what's hit them sometimes. This is a child that they love and raise, and now it's completely baffling. Why are they doing the things that they're doing? Well, you know, why can't they stop? The family program is um, a time for families to get education, to get support, to learn what recovery is about, to be able to undo some of the harm that's been caused, um, kind of take a fresh look at where we are right now and learn skills to move forward. I think the best part about it is just being able to be around other families. That seems to be the thing that they come away with talking about the most, is that there's this realization, oh God, I'm not alone. The people who show up are parents, parents of a 20-year-old, parents of a 50-year-old. You have spouses, partners, friends, girlfriends, boyfriends, adult children, teenage children. A big part in the afternoon of the sessions then for families alone are that they have time to just share in small groups what they've been through how it's, this has all affected them. We don't resolve those big issues during the family program, but they do come up and people know it's okay to talk about them. Families are able to get a sense of hope through information and, and they begin that process, I think, in a way kind of tapping into an overall philosophy of recovery which is you get what you give and in that sense uh, they begin the day by just sort of explaining what they've experienced and that begins the healing process that better than anything else and then that can kind of lay the groundwork for some information Saturday I talk about how addiction drastically changes the structure of the brain. So that's that's uh, Saturday, that's day one. Day two is where I talk about what the family can do to best support this whole process. Um, not only how they can be beneficial to their loved one's recovery, but at the same time um, maintain their own sanity and begin the process of emotional healing. One of the things that I probably enjoy most about my job is hearing from families, and it can be something as simple as, thank you for saving my son's or daughter's life or my loved one's life. And even though I, I don't take any credit for that, you know, it makes me feel good to know that we have some impact and, and, and a part of, of things moving forward and moving in a positive direction for our clients and the families. When you have a young person come into treatment, we know, the research shows, it is incredibly important for the family to know about recovery, to understand what treatment is and what it isn't, what to expect, how to help their young person when they transition back home. Families come here and they entrust their child to our services. And the families themselves are coming in after sometimes traumatic events. They're coming in dealing with their own stressors. One of the main things the family program does is reach out to our families uh, to take care of their needs first, to let them know that their recovery is as important as their child's recovery and that that's a process too, and that this is a safe place to bring whatever concerns that they had to share it with other people, to finally be able to talk about it with people who understand.